The third step in constructing the gearbox assembly is adding the top cover. To insert the top cover, go up to the assembly tab in the command manager and click on insert component. Now my SOLIDWORKS is configured to automatically show a dialog box, yours may not be. So if it's not, just click on browse in the property manager. And then select your top cover from wherever you have it saved on your flash drive or your OneDrive. Now you should have a graphics preview that shows up at your cursor. If you do not, go to Options in the Property Manager and click on Graphics Preview. This will allow you to see the part you're inserting at your cursor. Left click to click it any, anywhere into the graphics area of our assembly file. Now we need to add some mates to constrain it to the rest of the assembly. First we'll add a concentric mate, then a, co then a coincident mate, and then a, par and then a parallel mate. To add a mate, go up to mate in the assembly tab of the command manager. Then to add the concentric mate, click the two cylindrical surfaces that you want to be concentric, which for us is going to be the, cyl the cylindrical surface of the number six clearance hole at the bottom right of the top cover, and then also the bottom right number six tapped hole uh, on the housing. SOLIDWORKS automatically guesses that you want a coincident or sorry, that you want a concentric mate between these two cylindrical surfaces. To confirm, click the OK button in the property manager. Notice that we're still in the mate command. We can continue adding mates as we see fit. The next mate we need to add is a coincident mate between the bottom face of the top cover and the top face of the housing, but our top cover may not be or oriented or positioned greatly for that so we can left click drag the top cover up so that we can click on the top face of the housing and then the bottom face of the top cover. SOLIDWORKS automatically assumes that we want a coincident uh, mate which we do so we can click the OK in the property manager to confirm the coincident mate. Notice how we are able to move our top cover now. It's almost fully defined. It's almost fully de defined but not quite yet. Wait a second Melvin, don't we only talk about fully defined in the sketch and environment? You're, you're right, up to this point we've only talked about it in the sketch environment. But we can also use this term, this t terminology in the assembly environment when we're trying to relate components to other components. And, so and SOLIDWORKS uses this ter terminology too, as we can see from our mate property manager. And we can also see from our taskbar at, at the bottom, we can see that it, Sol SOLIDWORKS is telling us that our assembly is underdefined and we need to fully define it so that our assembly is unmovable. Now there are some circumstances, which we'll see a little later, where we want components to move, such as cylindrical shafts. But it is very important that we define our assemblies so that only our intended movement in our, uh, in our assembly is possible. As we can probably guess, this is not movement that we want when our product is fully assembled. So next we'll add a parallel mate between the right face of the top cover and the right face of the housing. By default SOLIDWORKS thinks we want coincident but, ju but just in case we end up moving these holes in the future let's say parallel by, click by clicking it under standard mates. We get the same result but our design is closer to the intent that we actually want. So to confirm this, press the green check mark and this is 
it for the top cover. So press the green check mark again to get out of the mate command. At this point, we might, have, we might want to write down some good notes so that we don't forget what we've learned in this video. I've prepared a template or a sample in, my, in Microsoft Word to give you a gauge of what you should write down. You can copy this directly or you can put it in your new words and add the things that you think should be in here for you. So here is the first portion starting at top cover to housing. And I will scroll down so that you can see at, so that you can see everything. 